All right. Hi, my name is Trent Tucker. I'm with the College of Business and Economics here at the University of Guelph. Uh, my title is the uh, Lockheed and Promoli Professor of Transformative Learning, and uh, I'm here to talk about uh, transformative learning today. So, uh, where shall I start? Um, one thing I do in my classroom, the very first day of classes, is I teach business, of course, and uh, I challenge my students to ask and answer 10,000 questions. And the, the 10,000 is really a metaphor, but the idea is that, you know, take a look at a situation and start asking questions. And then as you answer those questions, you'll start asking more questions. And, and eventually, you'll get a, a better idea of, uh, of what's going on in the world. Um, I challenge my students to, to think about business every day. Um, think about all the transactions you do and how does everything impact and everything else and how is it all tied together. So we do systems thinking and design thinking and, and, and big ideas, not just the sort of debits and credits and so on of, of uh, business and commerce. One of the things that we do in, uh, in Management 1000 is, is problem-based learning. And it's modeled on the first year seminar experience, which is one of University of Guelph's signature pedagogies. Um, the way I do problem-based learning is I need to scale it up. So I can't have, you know, 18 students uh, in a seminar type setting with a senior faculty member because we have, you know, seminars of 40, 42 students led by an undergraduate teaching assistant. So we structure a little bit more, but we start with real world uh, stories from the news. Uh, a, a building collapse in, in Bangladesh and you know Joe Fresh decides to keep their business there while Disney s decides to pull out. Who's right? Who's wrong? Um, you know what should really be done? So we start off with with problems that are real world. Uh, they're messy. There is no one clear solution. Uh, they're controversial and it's all designed to get students uh, thinking. You know transformative learning theory talks about the disorienting dilemma is kind of the starting point. And we don't have the, the, the resources to you know, create dilemmas for every single student on an individual basis, uh, but we can create many dilemmas and, and get people thinking and caught off guard with you know, ethical questions and so on business and have them research it and mull it over. And uh, when they come to class and they do a debate, they may be very passionate about one side of the argument, but when they have to actually go up they have to debate the other side of the argument. So they need to employ critical thinking to you know, put everything into perspective. So problem-based learning is one of the, the key sort of transformative pedagogies that we use. There's also a reflection piece. Uh, we have e-portfolios and, and things like that where we ask students to reflect on different things. Uh, one of the most important reflections I find is um, the college's vision is to develop and be leaders for a sustainable world. And we ask students, well, what does that really mean to you, to really internalize it? Is it just a, a tagline on the bottom of letterhead on websites? Or is, you know, what, is it, what does it mean to you to be a leader for a sustainable world? So that's how that piece uh, ties together. One of the other things we did in Management 1000 this past year was Micro Tyco. And Micro Tyco is a business challenge. We imported it from the UK. And it's really simple. You get $1 and one month and you have to convert that one dollar into as many dollars as possible. So then the disorienting dilemma is, I've got a dollar, I have very, very limited resources, and how can I transform that into multiple dollars? So you have to take stock of your resources, of your ideas, of your entrepreneurial skill. What's your network connection? Who do you know? How can they help you out? Formulate a plan, and then you have one month to execute it. And uh, last year we had uh, 10 teams of students and a faculty team uh, undergo this process. And I found it to be a really interesting experience because I had to organize you know, faculty members. We had to come up with a product idea, market it, um, and, and lead by example. And the students who took part of the Microtechno Challenge had a great time as well. Uh, one team, uh, their leader wants to come back and do it again uh, next year, even though there's no grades or anything. He just found it to be a really solid experience. Um, so you think about that one dollar. Very limited resources. It's a dilemma, but you got to sort of get through it. And it's a transformative experience. The other thing about that is it's outside the classroom. Uh, so not everything that we, we do is in the lecture or in the, uh, in the seminar. We do a lot of things outside the classroom. So I want students to think about 
think about business because that's my content area, but I want them to think about it in the larger societal context, and that's really how I see transformational learning happening.